Wow. Awesome stuff. So, we're here, folks, and we're recording. I see Lacey's line is, is not unmuted. So, I'm sure right now Lacey's not able to hear us. So, guys, could you just quickly reach out to her and let her know that she should unmute herself. Let her know that she should unmute herself. All right, folks. So while we're here getting ready to do this training, you can just reach out to everybody else who is not on the call as yet, because I know a lot of people are on their way to the call for whatever reason they're late. You can just reach out to everybody and let them know that we're Zooming. We are Zooming. Some things that we're about to do in this month, I'm super, super happy and excited about this. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, people have started already to pop ranks. People have already started to hit ranks. And we're early in the month. We're the first 10 days in the month. And we have people that are hitting ranks already. I am super excited for what's about to happen this month. I'm telling you, this is going to be a record-breaking month because we have already been breaking records. We have already been breaking records. And what we're going to be talking about today is how to retain our business partners in the business. This is going to be a pretty interesting topic. So we start at 10 minutes, 10 minutes after the hour. All right? So guys, you can just quickly keep reaching out to your partners. Let them know that we're Zooming. Let them know that we are Zooming. We're Zooming live. I enjoy this industry so much. I enjoy this industry. Reason being, I get the opportunity to help people, not only financially, but I have the opportunity to help people as it relates to their health. So for that, for me, it's fulfilling. For me right now, this is just so fulfilling. And it's bigger than just the money. It's way bigger than the money for me right now. Way, way bigger than the money. Folks, I'm telling you, this is absolutely no joke. This is absolutely no joke. Because it is so fulfilling. I am I am late. So we go into it at ten minutes after the hour. Yeah, because I mean I enjoy this. I enjoy so enjoy this business because without a shadow of a doubt, to know that the products work and people actually come in this business because of the products. 
people actually get started because of the product. Our product is our recruiting tool. In other words, everyone who comes in this business will make money off the products and will get benefits from the products way before the start. Way, way before they start to earn from the compensation plan. The products, ladies and gentlemen, the products works. The products are the, 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 the catalyst behind the compensation plan. And that's why I love this, because we sell products. And we sell products that work. We have a product, or a set of products that are ahead of its time. Right? We have the beliefs in the products immediately because when we use it, we get immediate gratification. So there's no question about our products. People are flocking us globally because of our products. When people use the products and get immediate gratification from it, just to hear those people's testimony makes me enjoy building my Vida de Vida business. To know what we have to offer and what we're offering the people. Ladies and gentlemen, in terms of our products, our product line, it is awesome. It is super awesome. And then from the product, people go on to access the compensation plan. Because before I earned that dollar from the compensation plan, I was earning off the products. And I know we have a lot of people, um, even on this call right now, who haven't earned a dollar from the compensation plan, but have been earning a great deal of income from the products. And if you're one such person, you can just raise your hand in the chat bar right now. You have been earning from the product. You have never earned anything from the compensation plan, but you have been earning from selling products, just selling the products. Just raise your hand so I can see you. See? Colin Myrie, immediately. Who else? You've never, you've never signed on anybody, but you have been earning from the products. You have been earning from the products. You see, this business is so awesome. It's so awesome and amazing that it is it, um that it and it's tangible it's a tangible business that you have right it's a tangible business for people who have been earning both from the products and from the compensation so you raise your hand in the chat bar you've been earning from the products and from the compensation plan just raise your hand Raise your hand, let me see you. Ah, I see Pam, earning from both products and compensation plan. Awesome, awesome stuff. Aisha, beautiful, beautiful. Now, our topic that we want to discuss is retention. Because we are in a retention business, ladies and gentlemen. Every single month, you start a new slate, a clean slate, every month. And every volume that you accumulate within the month will come from one out of two things. Either it will come from your retail sales and your website, or it will come from your business partners either repurchasing or recruiting new people. Right? One out of those two things it will come from. So we have to understand, we have to understand that every single month, two things have to happen. You have to either be selling products from your website or have your team selling products from either their website or belly to belly or have your team recruiting. And everybody's dream, everybody's dream when they come into a network marketing business is to sign those, those people that will send their business through the stratosphere. That's everybody's dream, right? If you're on here right now, you want to just sign the next big thing, the next big person, 
the next top income earner to come into your business, to send your business up through the roof. Let me see you just raise your hands real quick. Just raise your hands. You're here right now. You want to sign up that, that top network marketer, that, or several top network marketers who can just grow your business and make, send your business to, to the next level. All right, that's everybody's wish, right? Everybody's wish. Now, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. There's, there's only one way. There's only one way that you will be able to have the, the, the business that you desire. Only one way. Yeah, I mean, you have people that will get lucky and will sign that person to come into their business and send the business through the roof. I remember in my early days in Vida Divina, I was talking to somebody in my business and I said to the person, listen, right now, we're going out there. We're going out there. And we are meeting the people in the streets. We are beating the boots in the streets, talking to the people. Asking them the one question, who do you know want to lose five to seven pounds off the tummy within a week? And sharing the two videos. And sharing the two videos. And we're out there and we're signing up people left, right, and center. And that person said to me, he said, That's fine. That's fine, but I'm not looking to sign up a lot of people. I just want to bring those one and two key persons in that will come and will send my business up to the roof those who will bring in 50 or 60 people nothing is wrong with that ladies and gentlemen but let me tell you something about network marketing sometimes sometimes six figures in the previous company and they are now um, out and looking for something to do, I show them Vida Divina. That doesn't mean that they'll come here and do six figures. And they'll come here and they won't even do two figures. <laughs> That's the truth. That's the truth. Right? So working with the people that you have, working with the people that you have, to have them become the next big thing in your business, that's the mindset that you need to have. People who are already there. Have them become the next big thing. All right? How do you retain people in your business? The first thing, it starts with the belief. Belief. That's the first thing. You see, belief, it sounds so simple, but let me tell you something. It's a very powerful word. Belief. You see, when you believe and you show that you believe in people, they will give you their utmost best. When you show people that you believe in them, when you show them that you believe in them, in their abilities, in their capabilities, they will do their best. Let me tell you, you have people who follow people for years and, and those people who they're following brings out the best in them. Why? Because that person believe in them and show them every day that they believe in them. So they get to nurture their talent. They nurture the talent and that person wants to do their best for their leader because they know that the leader believes in them. So they want to always prove their leader right. Start with the belief. That's the first thing, the belief. You have to believe in your people. If you have your people and you do not believe in them, it will show. Let me say that again. If you have your people in your team and you do not believe in them, then that will show. Because you have a, you have a thing named subliminal. You will send us, so if, you, if, you, if you're not even doing it directly, you will send a subliminal message at all. I mean, you know, you can, 
even if you're trying to motivate the people, you tell them, oh, you can do it. You can make this happen. Um, all you have to do is, you know, just do the work and, you know, it will work out and what have you. You know, when you're giving, when you're talking to people, your body language says even more than your actual language. Your tone says even more than your actual language. And when you believe in something, you speak a different way. And when you believe in someone, you speak a different way, you act a different way. When you have true belief in someone, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, your body language is different. Anybody here know what I'm talking about? You can just um, raise your hands in the chat bar. If you know what I'm talking about, just raise your hands in the chat bar. Everything becomes different. Right? So believe, that's the first thing you need to have. You need to believe in your people. The next thing that you need to have yourself is a powerful work ethic. Your work ethic must be above average. Whatever you want in your team, you must be doing it yourself. Whatever you want. So if you want a top leader to come and, and carry 50 people in your team, you first carry 50 people in your team. You first do it because you have to lead from the front. You have to lead from the front. You're like an army general. You're leading from the front. All right? So whatever it is that you want your team to do, because let me tell you something, nothing shows up. Nothing shows up or manifests more than hypocrisy. Hypocrisy shows up and manifests more than anything else. It is easy to see hypocrisy. Very easy. So if you are telling me that I should talk to 100 people a day, you're telling me, talk to 100 people a day. And you are not talking to 100 people a day. You know what will happen? Automatically, that will show because you're being a hypocrite. You're being a hypocrite to yourself and to your business and to your people. You're being a hypocrite. And hypocrisy shows more than anything else. Believe as I tell you. So whatever it is that you want, you first do it. Go out there and do it. One of my mentors once told me that, listen, Karen, if you, you want to really build a mega network marketing business, and he learned from one of the best to ever do this industry, one of the best. He said to me, Karen, you have to bring 40 people in your business. 40. And when you bring 40 people in your business, he said 10 to 12. 10 to 12 will duplicate. 10 to 12 will incubate. 10 to 12 will do the work. And 1 to 2 will become superstars. Let me say that again. He said, bring 40 people in your business. 10 to 12 will duplicate. 10 to 12 will incubate. I say incubate. Those are the people who are just there, lying down, paying the authorship every month, not doing much. 10 to 12 will do what it takes, and they'll have one and two that will become superstars. 40 people. So I said to him, then what if I can't get business and I'm not getting those results? He said, recruit 40 more. This is your career. This is your job. Get 40 more. But the numbers don't lie. The numbers don't lie. Right? So if it's a case where you want key people in your business, become a key person yourself. Become that key person. That's the first thing. Leading from the front. I want to show you how, guys, you're going to keep in here. you need to know that some people are just quitters. And you can't do nothing about the quitters. You need to write that down. 
the quitters, you cannot do anything about the quitters. The quitters, they will quit because that's what they do. The quitters will quit. No matter how you try to motivate, no matter how you try to, no matter how you try to breathe life, the quitters quit because that's what they do best. So when the quitters quit, you bid them farewell and wish them well in their next venture that they're going to join and quit as well. Right? Because that's what quitters do. Quitters will quit. You're going to have the naysayers, the negative people. They thrive on negativity. You're going to have these people to deal with. Right? Well, let me tell you. Do not, once you identify this, do not try to ever match up with a negative person in conversation. Don't ever try to match up, match up with a negative person. Right? Whatever they say, if you're correcting them and they're not taking correction, bid them farewell. I'm telling you. Because that will bring you down a road that you will really don't want to go down. Unless you're a negative person as well that likes to go down that kind of road. So you have to understand you're going to deal with negative people because it's people's business. The moment you understand that this business is the faster you'll grow. Everybody won't be the same. We have to understand that you have some people who work a certain way. You have some people you tell them what to do and they'll just go out there and do it. You have other people that you have to show them what to do for them to do it. And then you have other people who will have to see you doing it and then they can do it. You have to understand that. I see Angela here. Could you please un uh, mute your mic? Angela, can you just please mute your mic? All right, see, um, we're being recorded. No. As I'm, as I'm saying, you'll have these kind of people in your business. What you need to know, what you need to know is that if you if you meet these people and you have the ability to change their mindset, that's not going to be easy. But if you have the ability to change their mindset, to get them to become like-minded, then that would be something awesome to get them to work the business. All right? No. Here's the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the thing. You're going to have people that you're working with that are actually doing the work. People that want to do the work. People that want to be better. People that join this business and their mission, their mind, their aim, everything in them is to make this thing better, but they really don't know how to do it. They don't know how. All right? So how to retain your partners? You got to create a system. A system. And the acronym for system is save yourself time, energy, and money. You have to create a system. When you create a system, it has to be a system that one, it is, it first has to be duplicatable. That's the first thing. When you're thinking about creating a system, it has to be duplicatable. The system has to be so that everyone can do it. That's how the system has to be. Everybody should be able to do it, right? It has to be practical. It cannot be something, it cannot be something that is difficult that you can sit, you sit down and you create this thing to justify your brilliance. You know, you justify your brilliance in every way when you create this system and it becomes so complex to other people who use it. No matter how awesome that system works for you, if it's not duplicatable, it won't go anywhere. That's the first thing. That's the first thing. All right? And then victories. That's the next one. Victory. Small victory. Small victories will help your people. As, as one of my mentors, Eric O'Reilly, he said, help your people to keep over the line, that invisible line, small victories. 
So when you have people who join your team, their mission is to accomplish something. Their mission is to accomplish something. So the first thing you want to know, because you want to retain your, your business partner for them to be in business with you for long. You want, you want to retain your business partner. The first thing that you need to know is their why. Why are they doing the business? You need to know this. Right? You need to know their why. When you learn their why, you will be able to better help them. You'll be able to better assist them. Because if I'm bringing my business partner, I'm, I'm carrying a new business partner. I don't know why the person coming in the business. Um, I just tell the person about this glorious business and they join. They join up. And they get their products. Or it may be that the person tried the product, lose the weight, loved it, and sign on. Get some products, start selling. And you don't know their why. You're just so excited that you sign them up and you never even take the time out to ask them, why are you joining? And they come in and for the first month, they sell off all their products. For the second month, they sell off all their products. And then the third month, they're stuck. They're stuck. You know what will keep that person going even when they're not able to really move the products as fast as um, they're moving it in the, they were moving it in the initial stage. Is their why? What hurts you? Why are you doing this? The reason for doing it. You have to learn your partner's why. So whenever you're signing somebody new, the first thing you sit down with them and ask them. And these are questions, guys, that you have to ask. And you need to write these down. You need to write these down. All right? First question. Why are you joining this business? That's the first question. Why are you joining this business? So when somebody come on and decide to get started with you, and you find out their why, the why could be, oh, I want to take a child. Like everybody who's in my business, I know why they join. I know why they join. So when, when any of my leaders come to me and say, Karen, I, feel, I mean, I have one of my best leaders, one of my best leaders, and one of the top producers in my organization right now. Right? Miss Simonia Chin. When she was just starting, we had a conversation. I asked her her why, and she told me her why. She told me her why. And then, when the times got hard in her organization, and she said to me, Karen, I feel like I want to get a nine to five job because time is rough right now and you know, this is happening and that is happening. And I said, listen, with the why that you gave me that you want to do this business, do you think a nine to five job can fulfill that? Do you think a, a nine to five job can answer that, 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 that particular question as to why you're doing this business? And she looked into it and she said, no. Right? She said no. So guess what happened? Automatically, she was ready now to listen, to devise a plan to get her back on track. And we sat and we talked and we devised the plan. And we talk and we talk and we talk. And right now, Simone is really happy. She said some things to me that I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, I am feeling really good about. I'm feeling really good for her to see the level that she's at right now, this present moment financially. Because she held on to her why. Uh, she held on to her why. Right? Another one of my members in my team, when she was coming in, I asked her, why are you joining? She said her mission is to buy a house. That's her why. And we started working with Zola Watson. All right? Duane, when he was joining, I asked him his why. He said he wants to migrate and, and, and move over with his wife and be able to be on firm footing when he's there. Duane has already migrated. 
I know all of my people's why. Why are they coming in? That's the first thing you need to know. Why are your people in order to retain a strong business? The next question you need to ask them. The next question. How much money? How much money would it take for this business to work your while? How much money would it take if you're earning X and you give them the, 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 the blanks to fill in? If you were earning X and they fill in that blank, amount of money every week or every month, which do you prefer? They say every month. It's all right. If you're earning X amount of money every month, would that make this business worth your while? And they say, yeah, that would make this business worth my while. I say, all right, great. You write that down. You're operating a real business, ladies and gentlemen. So you have to operate like a business person, all right? You have to operate like a business person because these questions are, must be answered. So when you write it down, you say, okay, because remember, you're charting a plan for that person. And that plan has to be a plan that will be duplicatable. So many times I use that word. If whatever system you're creating is not duplicatable, then I'm telling you, like for example, I know some people will say to you, um, stop somebody, ask them for five minutes of them time, and present the business before them. And you're there presenting the business. You may take the time out to learn everything there is about all the products in the company. And you may take the time out to learn every single thing there is about the compensation plan that you need to know. You know down to the fine T as to um, the, the, the compensation plan pays right down to the seventh level and how much you match in each level and how the overrides go and all of that and where the overrides get cut off. So you can present it to somebody. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? How many people are going to take the time out to learn all of that? That is not duplicatable. That may, that, that may impress somebody. You may look impressive, but you don't want to be impressive. You don't, know, you, you don't want to be impressive. What you want to be in this business is duplicatable. That's what you want to be, duplicatable. It's not about self. It is not about self. Every, all of the leaders who I know are all people who join this business who I know that are selfish, are all about self and all about what they can do and their abilities and how powerful they are and, oh, I can do this and I can do that. I've sold a million teas last week. Oh, I signed on 100 people. I've, I've signed in so many people right now. And when you check their system, look at their organization and you'll know if their system is duplicatable. Look at their organization. They sign on 100 people. How many people are apprentice? How many people are bronze? How many people are silver? How many? How many people are gold? They sign on a million people. How many people are making any money? How many? Why? Because their system is not duplicatable. It is not. So you have to be duplicatable. Everything that you're doing. Everything. So when you're charting this plan for your partner, it must be something you now that your partner can use. And when your partner using it, they can now have their partner using it. They can say, all right, so my goal was to make $1,000. Your goal is to make $2,000. So if I'm doing all of this and I'm making $1,000, all you have to do is double the numbers and you'll be able to make $2,000. So if I'm talking to 10 people per day and I'm earning $1,000 a month, all you have to do is to talk to 20 people per day and you'll earn $2,000 a month. That's duplicatable. That's duplicatable. Right? That is duplicatable. So you must, whatever you're giving them, whatever system you're giving them, it must be duplicatable. So when they tell you how much you want to make and you give them that system and they're now working with that system, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, this can become magic. This can become magic. The system that we're using is a simple one. All I tell my people, ask everybody one question. 
who do you know want to lose five to seven pounds off the tummy within a week? And I literally grabbed my team and we went out in the streets. We went out in the streets and we stopped people going about their business. I said, hi, can you just give me a quick second? The person said, sure. I said, who do you know want to lose five to seven pounds off the tummy within a week? I recently started this business and I'm introducing these products to the country. And they said, well, I know some people want to lose some weight or I want to lose some weight off the tummy. How do I go about it? I said, all right, great. Within the interest of time, let me just share two videos with you. If you could give me a WhatsApp number. And then when you watch the videos, you can just um, give me a feedback. And the person said, all right, cool. I take the WhatsApp number and I say, all right, what time is good to share the videos with you? And the person said, well, I mean, you can share them with me now. I said, all right, if I share them with you now, will you be able to watch it? The person said, sure. Or they say, I'll be able to watch it tonight. I said, all right, great. So if you'll be able to watch it tonight, if I call you tomorrow, you'll have to watch it already. For sure, right? The person said, yeah. I said, all right, great. I'll call you tomorrow. I take the WhatsApp number and I move along to the next person. Because when I share these videos, the video will tell the person everything they need to know about the product. It will show them how the product works. The videos will also show them what the product does to the body and why it is important to get rid of parasites out of the body. So the videos do this. I don't have to do it. How many people can share a WhatsApp video? Anybody. That's simply duplicatable. Anybody can share a WhatsApp video. How many people can ask people, who do you know want to lose five to seven pounds of the tummy per week? Anybody. That's easy to do. Simple. And it's duplicatable. It's a script that you don't even have to, you hear it one time and you got it. Who do you know want to lose five to seven pounds of the tummy within a week? Just one time. I said that to my daughter and she got it. She can just go out there and ask anybody that one question. I can say that to a two-year-old and they repeat it right after I say it. It's simple. Some people think it's complicated to make money. No, it's not complicated. But let me tell you something. What a lot of people don't understand is success is a compounded effort. It's a compounded effort. Success is a number of things being done over an ex ex extended period of time. Right? Success is compounded effort. So you're doing a simple thing. It could be five things you're doing every day, consistently, every single day, day in, day out, day in, day out for five years, and you become a multimillionaire. Five simple things. It could be eight simple things. But some people think it's so complex because there's no way making so much money can be so simple. So they try to complicate the process and reinvent the wheel, and no, it can't be like that. And the CEO said five steps. Do those five steps every day. Go out there, do them every day. Repeat them. Do it, repeat it. Do it, repeat it. Do it, repeat it. No, it can't be that easy. It cannot be that easy. I'm going to put this into it. I'm going to put that into it. I'm going to put this and I'm going to put that and I'm going to put that. And the man is a multi-millionaire from doing the five steps. Why do you want to change that? Why do you want to change that? It is simple. Success is a simple number of things being done over experience. Uh, over extended period of time. That's all. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have to understand that, right? So if we're going to become successful, we have to follow su because success leaves clues and failure also leaves clues. Failure also leaves clues. How to retain your people. That's what we're talking about here, right? So we, we, we um, establish how much money the person want to make. We give them the plan. Next thing, that we need to know. The next thing that we need to know is quitters will never win and winners are not quitters. Quitters will never win and winners are not quitters. Let me tell you, I shared my story as to my journey in this business thus far. And believe me, if I was a quitter, I'm not saying I never quit at anything in my life because I have quit at things before. Right, But that was a lesson for me to become better. It was a lesson for me to become better. Because let me tell you, experiences teach you two things. Well, I should say experience does two things to you. One, it either make you better, make you want to improve, or two, or two, it makes you worse. And my experiences 
made me better because when I joined this industry, I came in a bunch of um, with a, with a bunch of uh, 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 quitters. I mean, amongst a bunch of quitters, and they were in this business this week. Next week, they're in another business, and the other week, they're in another business, and they're in so many business businesses. So that's what I learned when I came in, being among quitters. And when I started studying the winners, the real people who I wanted the results that these guys have, I realized um, two things these guys are doing. Two things. One, the first thing is they remain focused and consistent. And two, they work. Ladies and gentlemen, so I want you to write this down. Work, it is very important. The work is very, very important because some people think they come to network marketing and you're going to reach at the top without doing any work. Some people have even have this ideology where you sit down on a computer and you send one email and a million people join your business. Or you sit down on your computer and you just put out this, this mega amazing website. And when you put this website out there, Everybody come and they just hop, skip and jump in your business and you're making all this money just by the snap of a finger. Network marketing, ladies and gentlemen, has the word work in it. Work. You have to work. It's very important. Because if you're not working, then believe me, everything that I'm saying to you as to how to do this, how to do that, what to do, it makes no sense. You have to work with consistency. You have to work diligently. And you have to come up with creative ways a lot of times to follow the five steps. Right? But keep it within the five steps. It's very important. So it is very, very important that we add work to it. <laughs> work ethic is important. All right? <laughs> so guys, let me tell you. We have to understand that this business called network marketing, it can be the best thing that you have ever done. And it also can be a nightmare for experience for you. I've faced the nightmare part of this thing. I have. And I'm now seeing the glory days because I did not quit. So you have to understand that quitters never win and winners never quit. Never quit. Now, how are you going to become a winner? There are certain habits that winners have. There are certain habits that winners have. Because you have some people that will join. They'll join today. And they will come. And they will um, carry a team in the business. Like my mentors before. They carry a team. And your team is doing really well. Or is not doing so well. Let's, let's work with the guys that the team is not doing so well. And that, that person come and they, they sign up 10 people, 15 people, and the team's not doing so well. And then they hopped to another opportunity to sign up 10, 15 people, and guess what will happen? I've had the experience, someone um, talking to me and saying to me that, listen, a particular uh, person that joined the team, signed up some people. Another person signed up some people. Those people were not doing any authorship. After they came in one month, the next month they were not doing any authorship. So that person reached out to some of the people that were in the organization to find out what is happening. Why is it that you're here? Obviously, you spent your hard-earned money to come. And then you're here this month and next month you're not doing anything. Why? The person said, listen, from my sponsor sponsored me. That was it. My sponsor sponsored me to get the sixty dollars, and when when the, the person the sixty dollars, I was I didn't even hear my sponsor call me again. So that's that that person was now looking for the next sixty dollars to get. That's short sighted. That person lacked vision. Let me tell you, this business is more than fast start bonus, ladies and gentlemen. Way more, bigger than fast start bonus. I can tell you that. Because I have people here right now in my team that have recruited way more people than I have recruited. Way more. A whole lot more. Probably if you look on their recruitment sheet and if you look at mine, you'll wonder what is happening. Then when you look into their business and you look into my business, you'll realize 
that's where the difference lies. Because my people, my people, I take the time out to work with. If I sign you on, I'm going to work with you. If I put you on, I'm going to work with you. The last person I signed on, she said, um, Karen, I can't leave my house because I'm babysitting my sister's children and, and they can't come out because she doesn't want them on the road. And I have to stay here right through and through every day. And I said to her, I can help you win. And I work with that young lady every day. She sold out all her teas in her first, first month that she, she signed. Repurchased in that same month that she signed. Got some, some in, um, she increased her stock, got her stuff, and reselling all her products. Because I'm working with her. I found out her why. And I'm working with her to achieve the why. Are you working with your people? Do you know why they joined the business? Do you know how much money they want to make? Yeah. Right? What are their goals? You need to learn that. You need to understand that. You need to understand that, ladies and gentlemen. Working with your team is everything. In order to retain your team, you have to work with your team. That is a must. That is a must. And you see, I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this. This is not to toot my own horn. But I'm telling you this. I know without a shadow of a doubt, I know without a shadow of a doubt that the ranks that I'm going to hit in this company, I'll be hitting those ranks way less people personally sponsored than most of those people who are hitting those ranks. I promise you. I promise you that without a shadow of a doubt. All right? Work with your people. If you want to retain your organization, you have to work with your organization. No. Also bear this in mind. You're going to have some people that you cannot work with. You're going to have some people that you cannot work with. And when you meet those people, do not waste your time. Don't waste your time. How do you identify those people? The first thing, the first thing, those people are counterproductive and they blame everybody except themselves. They are counterproductive and they will blame everybody except themselves. Like, I'm a person like this. If it's going to be, it's up to me. So if I said to you, um, uh, how's your business going? How many products you sold? And they said to me, um, these products are not selling. It's coronavirus times. And they're not, um, nobody's buying them. And, and what have you. I can promise you, those people who are saying that it's coronavirus times, they just happily got another excuse to say why they're not progressing. Because before coronavirus came, those people, I promise you, were just the same. And if you check the track record, look at it. Most people who are telling you right now, that is coronavirus time, why they're not producing. Look at them before coronavirus time. Think about them before coronavirus came about, if they were in the business before that. Think about it. Most of them were already failing before. But they found a new excuse to say why they're failing. They just found a new excuse. Right? Those persons, you just have to love them. That's all. Love them, pray for them. You go to somebody and you say, um, what rank do you want to hit this month? And the person say, I want to hit supervisor. They be like, all right, how many people are you talking to daily? Well, I can't talk to much people because um, I'm not, I'm, I don't hardly see anybody. And um, most of my Facebook friends, when I make the post, it's not, it's not going through and they're not responding. And they're this, and they're that, and they're trying to find all the excuses. Well, all right, come, let us solve this this way. And they're going to be like, oh no, because this and that and that and whatever. For every solution you come with, they come up with another problem. You don't want to work with those people. That's going to be wasting your time. People have to be workable, you have to be able to work with them. Right? So you have to understand that there are some people that you're going to be able to retain, and some people that you won't be able to retain. But for the people, who you will be able to retain, you have to identify those people. Because you'll have people that if you just take the time out to work with them, you'll have to retain them. But because 
if you didn't take the time out to work with these people, these people get swished by the wayside and end up out of the business because you did not work with them. And then you see that person turn up in another, in another business, in somebody else's organization, doing excellent things and you're wondering, so how that person didn't, didn't um, do all of that while they were here. Why? Because you did not work with them. No, this is a very important. This is very important. This next thing that you guys need to know. You hear me talking about you working with your people? What you need to do? This is the eighth thing that you need to know. You, yourself, have to become knowledgeable. That means investing in self-development. Getting the know-how. The moment you sponsor somebody, one person in the business, you're responsible for one life in network marketing. The moment you sponsor one person in the business, you're responsible for one life. So guess what? If you do not know it yourself, always try to seek it. Always try to seek it because that person who comes into the business is like a baby. Just like when you, when you get your first child, you're responsible for that life. So you don't know how to parent because you were not born a parent, but you'll have to learn a lot of things. You'll have to learn a lot of things because you'll, you'll have to need to know um, how to bathe the child and you'll go and seek it out. You'll, you, you'll need to know what to feed the child, what time the child should be fed, fed through the day. You'll need to know how to burp the child. You need to know that when the child is growing, they should get their shots. You need to know all of these things. So you guess, guess what you do? You take guidance from people through it before you. So you have to be teachable and coachable. You have to learn it in order to pass it on. You will have to learn it in order to pass it on. So it's very important that you learn it. Improve yourself. Get some self-development. Listen to these daily, daily, right? It is important. When you take the, go, go to YouTube and you're, you wanted to listen to your favorite song, put on a Les Brown. Listen to Les Brown. Put on a Eric Worre. Listen to Eric Worre because that's time invested, right? Put on an Armand Pujolt. Listen to Armand Pujol. Subscribe to the Team Divinity channel and listen to the training material right, that we have right there. We don't have much, but subscribe and listen. It is very important, ladies and gentlemen, very, very, very important that you improve yourself because if you do not know, if you do not know, there's no way that you can teach. If you do not know, there's no way that you can teach. Right? You cannot fill a vessel from another empty vessel. So if you're empty, how can you fill another empty vessel? Where are you going to fill it with? Self-development is very important. So if we practice all of these things, ladies and gentlemen, if we practice all of these things, I'm telling you without a shadow of a doubt, that you'll be retaining a lot of your partners. You will be retaining a lot of your partners. And not only that, you'll be retaining them, you'll have a lot of people making money and succeeding at this business. You'll have a lot of people making money and succeeding at this business. All right? So guys, if, you, if anybody here found value in what I say, you see that this can truly help you to retain people in your business when you bring business people to the forefront. Just let me see you raise your hands in the chat bar. If you find value, if you found value, and you say, all right, Karen, this can truly help me. I see where if I do these things, if I follow these steps, I'm going to be able to not just sponsor people in, but also retain people in my business so that we can build so that we can build a mega empire together. If you found value, just raise your hands in the chat bar. All right? Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, that's how you build. That's how you grow a massive business. You have to love and care about your people and work with them. 
It is true. It is true. So let me just go over the list real quick again, ladies and gentlemen. What we need is belief. You have to believe in your people. You have to have a proper work ethic yourself. You have to create a system that is duplicatable. You have to help your people to have small victories that will also lead to big victories. You have to find out their why. Why are they joining the business? You have to find out how much money that they, that they want to make on a weekly or monthly basis. You have to be willing to put in the work. You have to be willing to put in the work. And it's very important that they put in the work. And you have to develop yourself in order to develop your team. You have to develop yourself in order to develop your team. All right? So that said, ladies and gentlemen, we're up on the hour. We're up on the hour. And I'm telling you, without a shadow of a doubt, this month will be a record breaking month a record breaking month so challenge yourself this week's challenge and um today is sunday we're going back up until next sunday we're going to announce some winners the people who sell the most products in this particular week from sunday to sunday the people who sell the most products will get a prize i'm not going to say what the prize is yet but all of that will be announced during the course of the week and then on sunday we will announce our winner and and those and the winner we will have the top three retailers that will get some prizes, right? We we'll have the top three retailers. Now here are the rules. The first thing, you have to show. You have to show where you purchase your products. You have to show where your product and um, purchase your product in this particular week. So that means you'd have to you'd have to purchase some stuff this week. You'd have to purchase some stuff this week. The next thing. That you'll have to do the next thing that you'll have to do is that you'll have to send your invoices in the groups send the invoices in the groups show that you made a purchase and then you sh you're gonna show where you retail all your products by repurchasing some repurchasing some stuff at the end of it no if you already have products in hand if you already have products in hand you still can become a part of the, the, the competition. You still can become. So if you have five T's, 10 T's, 100 T's, you just post it in the group as soon as you come out of the conference call and everybody know what you have. Let everybody know what you have. And then when you retail out all of them stuff, when we come to the end of, um, coming to the end of the competition, to go for next Sunday on the conference call, we're gonna announce the winner. You'll have to repurchase some products because if you're out of products, automatically you're going to repurchase, right? So you'll have to repurchase some products and show that I sold up all of my products and I repurchased all of this, right? So either post the products that you have right now, if you already have products, if you don't have any products, purchase some stuff and share your invoices so that we can see what you have. And when you retail all of them getting to the end, repurchase to show us that, listen, I sold out all of my products and I repurchased because my customers need more stuff, right? So this is gonna be a pretty awesome competition. It's gonna be a pretty, pretty awesome competition. So that said, ladies and gentlemen, we're up on the hour. I just want you guys to have a wonderful, wonderful rest of Mother's Day and enjoy the rest of this week. Make it as productive as ever. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy the rest of your week. <laughs>